Hi, I'm Lisa McCree with the Skinny for Everyday Health. You know, just because you're living light doesn't mean you can't live large. And if you want a big and beautiful dessert but also want to keep it skinny, there's nothing better than my Fairy Skinny Trifle. And what makes this version even better than my old standby recipe is that it's not only skinnier, it's much easier. Instead of making my own butter-rich cake and cholesterol-heavy custard, using tons of sugar and full-fat whipped cream, today I'm using store-bought angel food cake, which is always fat-free, twice the amount of fruit, and fat-free whipped cream. Now that's a reason to celebrate. This is one of those recipes that's great when you're having a big party because so much of the work needs to be done ahead. About 24 hours before I even plan on building my trifle, I go ahead and prep my fruit. That gives it lots of time to get nice and juicy. All right, I've taken three pounds of strawberries, the zest of an orange, and the juice. Wow, that is a juicy orange. Look at that. You can smell it. Oh, I'm already hungry. Okay. What's going to happen as the fruit sits in this orange juice? The juice of the strawberries will be released, and the flavors will mingle. It's going to give you this delicious, delicious juice that's going to soak your cake with flavor. You won't even know that custard's missing. All right, now, to give this a little oomph and make it extra special, you're going to take some orange-flavored liqueur. You're going to use a quarter cup. Just drizzle it over the strawberries and then give them a nice stir. By using the liqueur, you can skip all that sugar that goes in most recipes for trifle. Perfect. Okay, in a separate bowl, you're gonna have about a pound of blueberries. Now, if you live in Maine and can pick them wild and for free on your hillsides, go for it. But I have to tell you, frozen blueberries work just as well. You're gonna take the zest of a whole lemon and then the juice of a whole lemon. I'm just using my hand here to catch the seeds so that they don't fall in. You'll probably end up with about two or three tablespoons worth of lemon. If you don't, if you get a dry lemon, then use another one. You need that lemon juice. Okay, give that a stir. And then what makes this special is Sauterne. Sauterne is a really sweet French wine. We're going to use a half a cup. Again, it's going to take away any need to add extra sugar. But then we're going to add another flavor to these blueberries, almond. Blueberries like almonds, so we're going to use just a little bit, just a half a teaspoon of almond extract and give them a stir. You know, again, if you're in a pinch, you could probably mix up your berries the morning that you were going to make a trifle, but it makes a big difference to let them sit. In fact, I have some that I put in the fridge about 24 hours ago, and you'll see the difference. Look at how juicy they are. And that juice is really going to mask the fact that you don't have as much fat in your trifle dish. It's all about faking out the people you love. And strawberries, too. Look at that. See, that's going to be perfect. When it goes into that fat-free angel food cake, it's going to be the bomb. Okay, now it's time to slice up our cake. I'm just going to roll up my sleeves a little bit here. Now, they come in different sizes, angel food cakes. The store-bought grocery store kind go for about 4 or $5. Use whatever you think would fit your vessel, but then don't fret if it doesn't fit exactly. You're going to do a little puzzle piecing here, just working it to make it fit. But you want to start by cutting it into horizontal pieces. Now for this size cake, I can't quite get four slices, so I'm just going to do three. It's kind of a messy job. The angel food cake tends to go everywhere, but that's all right. Look, now it's come apart in some nice rings. I'm going to save this one for the top it's going to show. These ugly guys, they're going to go in the bottom. So you're just going to start building. This trifle dish is a little bit larger, 
So what we're going to do is just take a piece from here. Look at that. Cut and paste. I'm going to fill in the middle like that. Now that that's done, we're going to add half of our strawberries. As soon as you've got all of your cake covered, you're going to start adding in some whipped cream. Now again, this is fat free. So it's going to make your dessert rich, but not really hurt your calories too much. And I'm just going to continue doing this, making layers of cake, berries, and cream. All right, blueberries pretty much fully loaded. Now we just want to make sure we use all the rest of the juice. And this is a good time to look at your trifle from the side. Look, see how those juices are already sinking? After the berries, more cream. When you're using your spatula to put in your cream, don't let your spatula touch your berries because it will get purple juice all over your cream and it's just much prettier when it's all white. Now we just have one more layer of cake. All right, now that all your cake is done, it's the other half of the strawberries. Mound them up, they're so nice. Get them nicely, evenly distributed. Now at this point, I usually put this thing in the refrigerator for quite a few hours. For example, if I'm having a Sunday night barbecue, I make this thing early Sunday morning while I'm having my coffee. Those extra hours in the refrigerator for all of the cake to get soaked with those delicious juices really, really make this an amazing dessert. However, I'm not going to do that today. I'm going to show you how to just get to it and finish it. What we're going to do after I give my hands a little wash is we're going to dress up the top of this trifle with a couple of super decadent additions. A few toasted almonds which look fancy, they're good for you. Uh, they have a few calories, but what I like is that they add this crunch. And then, absolute final touch, dark chocolate. You know, dark chocolate is better for you than milk chocolate. Isn't this pretty? This dish looks like it took way more work and has way more calories than it actually does. So next time you plan a party, Plan on Very Skinny Trifle. Fancy looking, but fuss free. It's a dish worth celebrating. Check out all of my skinny videos on this channel and post a comment. Let me know what you think.